frankly, we don't know why, okay? It's unfortunate, but we do know that colon cancer is uh, getting more and more common. We are talking about 25 to 30 per 100,000. That is the number one cancer in Singaporean male, and number two cancer in Singaporean female only after breast cancer. If you look at the whole worldwide, Western country in particular, colon cancer is the number one cancer uh, all over the country. So we are catching up with other developed countries. Uh, interestingly, this gentleman uh, had a negative fecal or cup blood testing before, and yet he developed colon cancer. Uh, actually, there are many misperceptions about colon cancer screening. Uh, the cheapest, e easiest to do test would be the fecal or cup blood testing, whereby we take a bit of the tissue or of the, of the stools, we put it into a small kit, we analyze it, and they will tell you yes and no having occult blood. Or cut blood actually means hidden blood. Now, the problem is, even if there's a cancer, the cancer does not bleed every single day. So if you check the stool or fecal or cut blood testing, if you detect blood, then we can be very worried. We need you to come for a scope to look for cancer. But even if there's negative, it does not necessarily mean that there's no cancer because the cancer in this patient may not be bleeding every single time he pass motion. Uh, for generally speaking, the sensitivity of a fecal or cut blood testing is only about 80% at best. That means if we do the fecal or cut blood testing, there's a 20% chance that the cancer can be missed. What can we do about it? Well, we actually recommend that if you're doing colon cancer screening by fecal or cut blood testing, you need to do that every single year after age five zero. So if you have one negative test, you should do every single one every single year. You miss one or two years, you may still have developed colon cancer. Uh, we actually recommend another form of colon cancer screening that is called colonoscopy. Colonoscopy can pick up cancer, can also pick up pre-cancer condition. In fact, the best treatment for colon cancer is prevention. And the best way to prevent colon cancer is to look for polyp and remove the polyp through the skull. In America, we recommend doing colonoscopy after age 50. There are some authorities, some experts, pushing down the limit of colonoscopy, we say that we should be scooping them from age 45. That's because we are finding more and more colon cancer, colon polyp, in people younger than, four, uh, younger than 50. In Hong Kong, researchers are pushing that if you have fatty liver disease, if you're overweight, you should be doing your colon cancer screening after age 40 as well. When we do a scope, we can pick up cancer. We also pick up pre-cancer condition that we can cut the polyp from the inside. We can prevent a colon cancer. Once a person is diagnosed with colon cancer, uh, the chance of his survival, his prognosis, depends a lot on whether the cancer has spread out of the colon. There are many uh, factors that can affect the survival of this patient. Most important is the size, how deep it invades in the colon wall, whether it invaded the nearby lymph nodes, whether it invaded an uh, area outside the lymph node, whether the tumor had blocked the intestine, whether the cancer is in the left colon or the right colon, and how much mutation uh, this particular cancer had. And also, we need to see whether there's a recurrence after the surgery, whether the cancer responds to chemotherapy. There are many, many different kinds of prognostic factors. By and large, if they have stage 1, uh, prognosis is very good, 80-90%, 5 years survival. But if they have stage 4 colon cancer, then only 10% uh, of long-term survival. So many prognostic factors discuss your condition with oncologists. They give you a rough estimate. Last but not least, how can we prevent colon cancer? Studies show that overweight people, fat people have more colon cancer. To more fiber people, taking more fiber had less colon cancer. Taking more red meat, more barbecue meat, more chart, more barbecue uh, kind of food had more colon cancer. Physically active help to protect colon cancer. If you have a heart problem, you take aspirin, people take aspirin had less colon cancer. So many things that we can do to help, but the best treatment for preventing colon cancer is still a screening, the best of the screening would be colonoscopy and polypectomy if a polyp is found.